This is Josie Alfaro, Allison Cher, and Malgai Codrick. And this is our Great Barracuda presentation. <clears throat> this is the web, the food web. <laughs> um, the Great Barracuda eats groupers, the mullet, and uh, the killifish. And then the grouper eats catfish, and the catfish eats snails and crawfish, and then the snail and the crawfish eat the algae. And then another thing the grouper eats is the crabs, and then the crab eats the protozoa. And then the killifish will eat uh, worms and mosquito larvae, and then mos the mosquito larvae will eat the dinoflagellant. And then the mullet eats the mealworm and the uh, zooplankton. And the mealworm eats the decaying plants, and the zooplankton eats the dinoflagellant. The end. <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> um, this is a trophic level of um, how that certain that particular food web goes. The bear. Um, well, first off, the protozoans and the plants and dinoflagellates and algae. They um, usually either get their nutrients by de like decomposition of other materials and, and or photosynthesis and then once bless you and once um they receive their food uh it goes on to the next tropic level which they are being consumed by the crab catfish zooplankton mealworms and so forth they get only 10 percent of that energy so they have to eat large quantities of that and then as the next tropic level goes um above um the groupers and the mole and the killifish will eat um only 10 percent of that and they're eating in large quantities and uh once we reach the terminal tropic level it goes to the barracuda which only gets 0.1 percent of all of that energy so they have to eat a lot since they're the main predator um and this is our vocabulary. And then it's on this slide too. Uh huh. And then you could take a minute and pause it. And then that's it. And that's our presentation. That concludes it. All right. Goodbye. Bye.